Are you craving a local neighborhood family sports bar and grill in the heart of Tempe? Then look no further than Five Star Dive Bar and Grill, located at 1807 East Baseline Road, number 101, on the corner of McClintock and Baseline on the southeast corner. At Five Star, we have everything you're looking for in a neighborhood bar and grill, including signature burgers and sandwiches, to dive bar appetizers, hot dogs, and more. With three pool tables, two dartboards, and several arcade games, we have everything for foodies and gamers too. But most of all, we have 48 TVs and not a bad seat in the house or patio, so you will never miss a moment of your favorite team or fighters. So come check us out today and have your new neighborhood bar and grill tomorrow. Come see yourself today at Five Star Dive Bar and Grill. What's good, y'all? Welcome to the King of the Game podcast. I'm your host, AC. We got Chuck producing. My guest with me today is Kyler Casper. What's up, what's up, what's up? Williamsfield wide receiver. Yeah, yeah, what's good yeah. with you? I've been good, I've been good. How was the game last night? It was good. We won, uh, shut them out, no points on the board, so that was good. But it was, it was a little bit sloppy, some things to work on, but overall, good game. Yeah, yeah we got to pay homage to <laughs> the word of the day, the phrase of the day, pay homage. <laughs> Hey, man, we've been a little bit rusty. I know a lot of people have been reaching out to us, like, when's the next podcast? Don't worry. We got this schedule going on. We had a couple things, you know, season starting. So, you know, we're starting to get our schedule going down, too. But yeah, yeah. we got one of the best players in the state, or if not the best player in the state, you know, killing the game right now. All-American 2023. Man, I mean, how, how did you get to that point? Like, mm -hmm. wh what brought you into football? Brought me into football, so well, my dad played in the league for eight years, so I've been playing football since I was, my first year of actual football was when I was six, but ever since I was even younger than that, just messing around with the ball and stuff in the basement. But, so I've been playing since I was young, and then I fell in love with it right away. And then my whole family, like my little brother plays football, everybody plays football in the family, so. Just been since I was a kid. Your little brother's tough. Yeah, yes. he's nice. Yeah, I seen him. I seen him. I seen him. I, seen some, I, seen him I, I learned Woo! from his releases and routes. I learned from them. Like he's <laughs> nice. Yeah, he I couldn't do that when I was just his age. I can't even lie. He's yeah, that, nice. that's great. So did your yeah. dad like kind of force it on you? Like football? You know, this is what we're uh, doing. Or I mean, he kind of like put the ball <laughs> in my hands and then went from there. But yeah. I mean, we we seen AC with the with the basketball clips of you dunking yeah, and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was it a tough decision? Was it ever like a decision between like basketball and football, mm -hmm. or was it always just like football but basketball I'll do for fun? Um, honestly, I like whatever season I am. That's like what I like the best. But I haven't. I didn't play basketball last year, mm -hmm. so I'm gonna start kind of like going away from that a little bit. I still play for fun. Don't get me wrong. Like I play pickup games yeah. all the time in the off season, but. Sticking on football. Do you feel man, like if, no. if COVID went to ruin like the basketball, do you feel like mm -hmm. COVID kind of took a toll on the basketball more than football? Do you yeah. feel like you would have still been a two sport athlete at this point? I feel like I would have played last year. Yeah, it was tough with no fans, and I I was trying to put on weight and stuff. So I was like, so are you one of those uh, prototypical like basketball football players where like like the Jimmy Grams, the DeAndre Hopkins, the people that you just toss it up to, and they, Antonio Gates, yeah, people you know like that. Yeah, yeah definitely, definitely. What's it, what's your vert? I don't know my vert, to be honest. We got to set your vert. I know. I That's need gotta, to. Because I, I know it's to. in the 40s. I feel like. Got to be. Got to be. Got to be. Yeah. <laughs> so, Roll the clip. Yeah, oh, yeah for Roll sure. Let me, let me get those clips from AC, you know. Yeah. Let me get some clips. <laughs> hey, man. So, um, let, let's let's get into to, to Williams Field. Mm -hmm. Like, what what's what's the outlook? What do you guys think you could do mm -hmm. this season? We could we could do big things this season. Um, like I'm run saying, the table big or what? Yeah, you know what I'm, I'm trying to go to the open. We definitely go to the open and compete in the open for sure. Honestly, for our line, our line's been doing good. Like that was that was our main uh, worry. So our line's been doing good, and as long as they can keep holding up, we have the athletes to do everything, go all the way. So we could be smooth. Hey, shout out to the Williamsfield offensive line, yes, putting sir, it down, yes, holding sir. it shout down. Big dogs, yes sir. Yeah. Um, yes, sir. So. As far as the rest of the season, um, mm -hmm. are there any games that are like you circle on the calendar, or is there a team that that's not on your schedule that you want to play? Mm -hmm. Um, shoot, there's a couple teams not on the schedule that I want to play. Oh yeah, let's hear them. But, yeah, yeah, I want to hear them. <laughs> All right, for sure. Well, I mean, Hamilton would be cool. Uh, Chandler would be cool. Sawara, Chaparral just won be Sawara, so that'd be a cool that game. But. Shout out all my dogs at Basha. I'm trying to play Basha. That would be that would be a okay. good game for sure. So who, who you but trying to go against on Basha? You Cole, trying to go come against on Cole? Now. Yeah, best versus best. One on one. <laughs> Got to. Cole's my dog. But of hey, that's, that's respect, man. That's yeah, respect. Yeah. I think it's always good, you know, to try to go against the best and compete. Yes, sir. That's what it's all about, man. Um, yeah. As far as um, 
you know, high school goes in the open, do you think that you have a strong chance against those teams? Like, I, I'm mm-hmm. sure those teams that you named, I, I would I would believe that Williamsfield would be the underdog. I don't yeah. know. But yep. those are just opinions, right? Do you mm-hmm. think that they that Williamsfield can compete with we those teams? We definitely can compete. I feel like every week we're getting better and better. And if we just lock in, get right on all the little things, you know, not make any mistakes, we could definitely beat those teams. A line hold up, they've been doing good. So they, they continue to hold up. We can definitely beat those teams. Oh yeah, offensive line, man. Yep, what other yep, teams? Yep. Uh, what are the teams of schedule that you? What are you guys looking for? I know you guys are looking forward mm-hmm. to playing Brophy. Um, Castilla, Castilla's always because I went to Castilla, so we always have a little bit of ro- rivalry. Oh, so you going got a, per- a little personal yeah. rivalry with Castilla. Oh, I didn't even know that. I didn't even know that. Sean was at Castilla. We had a couple kids at Castilla. Oh, Sean so. was at Castilla too. Yep, yep. So, mm, so y'all do that's, got a rivalry, yes, sir. That's gonna be a fun game. I Is that at home? Playing. Uh, it's at Castilla this year, but we got Queen Creek at home next game, so yeah, that should be fun too. Dang. Yeah. So wh- why why the move from Castilla to or um, was it just like that's just what it was? <laughs> kind of what it was. It was freshman year. Um, I just felt like Williams Field was just like a better fit for me, to be honest. For sure. I'm not gonna go too into detail and stuff, but it was just Williams Field was a better fit to me. Yeah, for sure. I mean, yeah. Williams Field has always had a good program. Um, mm-hmm. Always competed against the best. I remember sure. when I first started filming, uh, Williams Field beat. Um, I think it was Centennial for for a state championship mm-hmm. in the uh, University of Phoenix Stadium, now State Farm Stadium, where the Cardinals play. So yeah, Williams Field has some. They got it. They have like a lot of respect as a football program. Oh, yeah, you can tell, sure. like from the refs and from the whole community. Like mm-hmm. Coach Campbell garners a lot of respect. For sure. So. Now, now let's let's get into the tough part, man. Because uh, I want to make sure that we we talk about this uh, yes, college, mm-hmm. college, college. <laughs> so w- when are you committing? And is there even a top five? Or you already yeah, know where you're going? Uh, I, you know, can next you even question. give us a little hint uh, into into so. into the mind. After this season, I'm going to really limit down all the schools, probably drop a top five. But I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait it out, continue, finish this season off good, strong, do my thing this season, and then uh, wait a little bit, see what other schools, you know, talk to and stuff. But I want to definitely visit some more schools, figure out all that stuff out, and I'll drop a top five and then go from there. I'm not too sure when I'm going to commit yet. I'm thinking before next season, mm-hmm. but... That's that's the plan. So you're not now. rushing? Yeah, not rushing nothing right now. Just focus on the season right now. To I be love honest. it. For sure, yes, man. If you ever need a um, commitment via, you know, AC and King of the Game, you know, yes, we got sir. that on lock. Definitely, but definitely. That's crazy. You stole the thought out of my brain. I was literally about to ask you, so you're going to let me shoot the commitment <laughs> video, right? That's, I was literally about to say that. That's crazy. So here's the, here's the tough question, man. We, we know your dad went to Iowa. Mm-hmm. You got an offer from Iowa. Mm-hmm. I've been seeing a Is lot of what? Iowa graphics and yeah, a lot of I've Iowa. I've seen a lot. You know, your smiles in the, in the pictures of <laughs> Iowa, you know, a little bit more than those other schools. Is Iowa where you going? That's what they want to know. Hawkeye wait, 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 Nation. Wait, wait, wait. How do you feel about Iowa? Yeah, Hawkeye <laughs> Nation. What's up? Uh, I mean, I like Iowa a lot. The fan, the fan base is crazy there. Like, they show a lot of love. But... Again, don't even, <laughs> to be honest, I don't even know yet. I want to go around, see more schools, yeah. like continue to build relationships with coaches because now we can talk to coaches more. Mm-hmm. So that's a lot easier. And then just keep going from there. So what, what, like, what do you look for in a school mm-hmm. like, you know, when you're trying to commit? Is it the, the, the education? Is it the fan base? Mm-hmm. Is it the coaches? Is it the weight room? What, location. What is it? Yeah, location. Yeah, so um, number one, relationships, like building relationships with the coaches, uh, some the players honestly just really getting a feel for what they have to say about the whole program and then location that's sort of a that's like that's a factor definitely because you're not playing football the whole the whole year so you gotta be able to you know do stuff uh after the football season but honestly it's relationships is the number one thing for me okay Mm -hmm. does does conference matter um not really to be honest okay I'm not worried about the conference. Okay, so you're just mm-hmm. looking for like a fit. You ain't yep. looking for anything Whatever, specific. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I feel like you'll get that feeling and then just know like whoever feels home and you know you could be there for the next four, three, four, five years. So. I mean, the good thing about what you're doing, man, and um, you know, you continue to work on your craft is that no matter where you go, you're going to make an impact. Mm-hmm. You know, whether it's a team that, you know, needs some help to, to get to that next level and you're bringing that or a team that's at the next level and you're trying to be the top of that top, you yeah, know, exactly. so. Yeah, man, just keep doing your thing. Keep yes, working sir. on your craft. Uh, we're mm-hmm. excited to see, you Appreciate know, that, yeah. you know what your journey brings you to. I mean, as far as 
All American game. How was that experience? Getting the call saying, "Hey, you you gonna be on NBC?" Mm-hmm. Got verified on Instagram. Yep. And then they yeah. got and hacked. then they got hacked. Come hey, get, hey, shout out, hey, put my man's Instagram on here. Shout out oh, Kyle Casper yes. Instagram. Get his Instagram back <laughs> up. He got yeah, hacked. Appreciate yeah. that. But um, get that verified. <laughs> That was, I mean, that was a dream come true. I've been watching all the All-American games since I was a little kid, and it really seemed like a dream, like my whole life. And now that it's reality, is is still processing it, to be honest. But I can't wait for that game, going there, compete that whole week with the best. That's going to be a blast. Oh, I forgot I to ask, how's the collarbone? Oh, it's good, completely good. Yeah, like, it feels, it feels good? Yeah, feels good? Bad, bad, bad. Yeah. Oh, you messed never. that up, what, seven on seven? S- sevens, yeah. Sevens, but okay. It's stronger than it was before, so that's a good thing. That's when uh, yeah. Tucson Turf, shout oh, out yeah, to the Turf. You know, killing. Yeah, killing. killing the game. Undefeated. Oh, okay. Yes, <laughs> Crossing names off of the, the, yes, little, the little billboard over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yep. crazy. Um, so what does it mean to you to be a part of that All-American game where mm-hmm. you're competing against the best, like mm-hmm. on a national stage? There's a whole week of one-on-ones, yep. you know, going against these other players, going against receivers that are also All-Americans. Like, what does mm-hmm. it mean to you? I mean, it means a lot. Like, I'm going to go show that I'm the best out of the best. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I feel like when that time comes, I'm going to be prepared. Can't, I can't wait for it. It's going to be a blast. Get bigger, stronger, faster. Just keep working on my routes. I've been uh, Coach Sia Burley actually coaches with us okay, now. Yeah, for sure. So he's been a big help. Appreciate it. Shout out Coach Sia, Coach Burley. So he's oh, been yeah, a big shout help. Out. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So I've learned a lot of stuff from him. And then just keep working with my dad in the off season, And then. It's gonna be fun. By so your dad be getting you in the weight room. Yeah, yeah. yeah your dad definitely, still definitely. look like you in the oh weight room, God. man. Yeah, yo, <laughs> unbelievable. Not yeah. yeah, I'm just gonna keep it at he's in shape. Your dad that's like, like twenty. <laughs> yeah, your dad look like you twenty five. <laughs> Y'all look. <laughs> yeah, something's wrong with him. <laughs> <laughs> he be bike. I saw. I, thought, I saw something. He bike like. He biked a marathon or something. He biked like a I don't even know. He, he gets on the Peloton like several times oh, throughout yeah, the day yeah. and then Shout out Peloton. Sleds. Shout out yeah, Peloton. He just does a little bit of everything. He's super safe. <laughs> so he be lifting in his sleep. You know? yeah, Basically. <laughs> <laughs> Basically. That's crazy. Got them uh, jeans yeah. though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was uh was it always uh, in the cars for you to, to to try to go to the league? Like was that always um, like the, the plan? Like you're gonna was it like you're gonna follow in my footsteps, or mm-hmm. I want you to take your own path, but you we 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 still gonna end up in the same place? Yeah. So he's he's honestly he's letting me figure it all out. Like he doesn't want to push anything on me. Wants to let me figure out like going on my own path. But since I was a kid, that's been my dream. Like since I was seven, like school is asking like, what do you want to do? Uh, NFL, NFL. Like since I was I seen his kid, office. Like it's kind of hard to <laughs> not like it's just all the jerseys yeah. and all the oh, memorabilia. Yeah, like like his, his his dad's office is tough. Yeah, I would be like if I was a little kid, I'd be like, dang. I yeah. want that. Yeah, I, when I was a little kid, me, uh, my best friend, when I was younger, Tyler Morris, I don't know if you're not, y'all are familiar with him, but he's committed to Michigan right now. But we would put on all his like pads he had and just go one on one in the yeah, backyard. Yeah. So when we were super young. So that's just been the dream since I was a kid. That's dope. Yeah. So I'm going back to recruiting, man. A um, mm-hmm. couple questions on recruiting. Number yeah. one, when did your recruiting blow up? Because it seemed like mm-hmm. for me, again, outside looking in, that your recruiting blew up over this summer during sevens. Yeah, yeah. So. Um, so uh, last season, during the season, I caught I got a couple of offers early. I think I'm not too sure how many it was like mm-hmm. during the season, but then I'm pretty sure I had around like f- maybe five, six, and then really when sevens took off, when I went, I played with a team called BBT. Shout out them too. Shout out BBT. That was yeah, that yeah. was that was actually fun. We were good. <laughs> yeah, and it then, was good. Uh, I tra- uh, went over the turf. And then that's when everything went crazy. We went to the Phoenix, Battle of Phoenix tournament, yep. balled out. Won that. You won that. And then uh, New Orleans tournament, balled out, won that. Yeah, so won that. That was a blast. Kyler Castro dropped a mix, and then he got a bunch of offers. So I'm just letting y'all know, <laughs> AC Productions gets yes. you a mix. Get and, and, sure. and then you just start get getting here. offers all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> also, those people that say that, that you can't good. get offers from Sevens, I mean, that's, yeah, that's, that's a, false. That's false. False. Absolutely false. Completely false. false. I've seen a couple guys get offers. Yep. Uh, from Sevens, mm-hmm. uh, Jacoby Lane got offered from yeah, Sevens. Yeah, he's doing his thing right now, yeah, too. Yeah, so shout Jacoby's out to Jacoby. You know yes, sir. Yeah. Well, you got two receivers that's over, you know, 6'5". Six, six, five. Five. Yeah, it's OD. Next year, we, we got it OD. next year, too. So that's, <laughs> that's just going to be a blast. No one can stop me and Jack. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so as far as, um, like, going back to also recruiting and choosing a school, yep. how important is the quarterback? Um, I feel like, honestly, at the next level, all the quarterbacks are you know, going to be good. But – Building a relationship with a quarterback too, like that's why I, I was thinking about uh, committing at the All American game and stuff, which would be sick. Like, oh yeah, that'd be crazy. Yeah, that'd be but cool. I also want to like get like locked in with a school, 
try to you know see who else is going there you know start building like building stuff early yeah for sure yeah. I, I mean commit at the all-american game is is top level yeah. i mean um there was a player i was supposed to do a commitment video from that went to bishop gorman mm -hmm. um they ended up canceling and his mm -hmm. mom's like, hey, sorry, we're, we're going to end up committing at the All-American. I was mm -hmm. like, don't apologize to me. That's like a once-in-a-lifetime <laughs> yeah, exactly. opportunity. Yeah, so, mm -hmm. I mean, you're on national TV. I mean, mm -hmm. I think we talked about this with Cole. The last time I seen somebody from Arizona commit at the All-Star, the All-American game was Keeley. Yeah, and that yeah. was big time. Like, yeah, he was the yeah. number one guy yeah. that didn't, that was uncommitted. So, yeah, mm -hmm. um, yeah more power to you, man. I'm yeah. sure you're going to have that. that. Just, mm -hmm. just um, believe it into existence. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So um, let me let me get into 2K because we, we got a couple <laughs> minutes left. You know what I'm saying? But I just I just got the 2K22 man. Oh, what, yeah. what, what's up with that? I, I haven't even got it yet because I'm trying to get. I still haven't got the new Xbox. I'm an oh, Xbox yeah. guy. Okay. Yeah, me too. So I'm away. Oh, I'm, about, yeah. I'm about to say, Chuck, you got the new Xbox too? Yeah, I got the Series X. What's up? Uh, yes. I got to get that. I'm not going to get no games Yo, until I get that. King of the game the got the hookup for real. He said he got the new Xbox, the new 2K. Hey, Sweet. man, I used to sell the Xboxes and the Playstations, and then, you know, I stopped because people stopped. You know, the demand went down. Yeah, the demand, yeah, facts. But, um, yeah, I got the 2K, you Lowering know, so chips. I need to let me know when you get on there. For sure, I, I will. By that time, I'll be, you know, I'll be a little bit better. Uh, <laughs> Chuck said he want all the smoke on 2K. He said he he run my part. That's I play, what he said. I'm, That's right. I'm a Madden guy. I play 2K too, but I'm Madden for sure. I left Madden, man. The I'm game not. is just too. It, it, they don't mess the whole game up. <laughs> they messed the whole game. I retired. Up. Yeah, that's facts. I, I can't right. lose. I did see the video that AC did. I did. I was gonna oh, bring yeah. it up, baby. We <laughs> played ahead. Madden where you spanked it. Nah, roll the clip. No, nah, I'm just playing. No, nah, that was funny though. Right. So uh, what happened? Go ahead. Go through the. Little it was. We just. Oh, I, I wasn't playing Madden. I know, but you were recording. Oh yeah, I was recording. Yeah, I mean. CJ. CJ, hey, shout out CJ Tiller, shout quarterback CJ. at Williamsville, <laughs> playing Kyler Casper and Madden. You, yeah. It's like Kyler City, undefeated. Me. I'm like 100 and over. It's him and everybody <laughs> else. I can't. Shout out CJ, but I just don't lose in anything, to be honest. What's up with the uh, online play? You play online, too? For Madden? Yeah. Uh, not, not I, I don't even play games like that anymore. Yeah, like, okay. Since school started, I haven't had time. So the only time I play is at my, my friend's house or there at my house, and we just chill playing. But. I haven't really played video games in a minute. Oh, yeah, you living that professional life. Yeah, you living that. A lot, uh, of, a lot of homework. I was on online last year, so it was kind of easy, but now I'm back into the real world. So Nah, for sure, man. Yeah. And I know we're closing on time because AC got to go, but um, no, we, we, we wish you the best this Appreciate season. That. Hope to see you in the in the open. Yep, we want to yep. see you versus Cole or yep. you versus whoever is across from you, man, because, mm -hmm. you know, jump balls is vicious. Yeah, those, yeah. This is the that's the best. I mean, if you're watching football, man, the, the, the deep throws – up for grabs kind of catches man those are the best can't you can't hold on last question can't do nothing right. about that did you have like a growth spurt at some point like I did. so <laughs> i'll tell you right now i'm six five and a half with no shoes so with cleats and shoes on like six six how how tall are you when you like before sevens before sevens i was around i think i was like six five i'm slowing down now thank god i'm cool right here <laughs> but uh i hit it i spurt. grew 11 inches in 13 months oh, so. wow yeah, ridiculous. So that was, that was. What like, were you eating during those eleven months? Just whatever. I don't really have a diet. <laughs> I was eating whatever. Wait, yeah. How tall is your dad? Six foot flat. Like, yeah. No. Nope. Yeah. Where's the height coming from? Yeah. Your, you tell you? your mom got tall either, right? Uh, she's like five seven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, nobody that's in wild. Family. My mom's brother is like six two, but besides that, you said how many inches? Like he's six two. My no, how many brother. inches did you grow? Oh, 11 inches in thirteen months. That's crazy. That's Ridiculous. crazy. Yeah, so that's almost a foot. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's. How do you grow a foot? No clue. In we a, need in the regimen. We need Doctor, that regimen. Yeah, facts. We need the uh, we need that workout routine. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <God. laughs> <laughs> nah, man, but um, yeah, we appreciate you. Um, appreciate we're you. here at uh, Five Star Dive Bar and Grill for all of you that know. Um, for all of you that are also tuning in, make sure you subscribe on YouTube at King of the Game. Also, go on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify. Look for the King of the Game podcast. We got Kyler Casper. We got more All-Americans coming on soon. And th don't worry, Kyler will be on the podcast again pretty soon. That is a fact. That's that's a big fact, especially after the season. After so, the season. Um, you know, once he's committing, you know, here, you know what I'm saying? He's going to commit <laughs> on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> now, nah, but we appreciate you, man. Any any final words? Any Anyone you want to shout out? Um, shout out to Williamsfield. Just keep watching us. Throughout the season, we about to do something special this year. Go into the open, do something special there too. So, and your so and your uh, your social handles, What's socials, uh, Kyler Casper on Instagram, on Twitter Casper Kyler, 
check out Instagram though, cause you know I got hacked. So I need, yeah, he need, need that, that blue check mark. Need a boost. <laughs> yeah, he need that blue check mark back, man. Yeah, so when I seen so. that, pay for a verified. Oh account. my god! Like, oh when my I saw goodness. you, when I saw oh, when I showed it to on, I showed it to Chuck here on the podcast. I showed it to him. It was like appeal helpline or whatever it was. Whatever they hack your get verified today. I'm like, no. They was on my Instagram live for like hours. Swear to God, on live. I don't know, guy? some were random they, dude. They were like, wow. <laughs> just on my live. I'm like, I'm like what? <laughs> I swear to God. He was live. He said, Kyler Casper is live. Like, Kyler Casper is live. Yeah, Instagram is live. I'm like, what are you talking about? My Instagram is live. What are you talking about? My Instagram is live. Hey, I can't Kyle, even, I don't, I'm not even on my Instagram. I'm saying. Yeah. That's funny. Hey, Kyler Casper is live. It's some random dude. <laughs> Who is it? I'll be popping up. <laughs> Who is this? Boy, this ain't Kyler Casper. In a Will- Williamsfield jer- jersey. Yeah. It, 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 so, somehow in his house. Oh, man. In the room, talk about some. It's Ky- Ky- checking in with y'all. It's Kyler Casper. <laughs> yeah, no, that's crazy. But no, man, get this man's account verified again. Make sure you yes, follow sir. him on socials. Make sure you follow us on socials. Mine is KOTG Media on Instagram and Twitter. And the AC, what you got? Uh, hey, follow me on Instagram at Baldogs AC and on Twitter, AC.Productions. There we go. We appreciate all the support. We will catch you guys next time. We'll be doing our, um, you know, our competition the next time Kyler is on. This time, you know, we're real crunch for time, so we're <laughs> we're make it happen. He gonna have his chance to beat D's high record and, and, and go at we AC. Got a, we having a dunk contest. I'll, oh yeah, and a dunk contest. A dunk contest. AC, I got to buy this week. I got off the. <laughs> <laughs> I got off the hook. I keep losing. I'm, yeah. I'm un. What's the rec- what's the opposite of undefeated? I don't know, I'm, but AC ain't losing this week. So facts. I'm coming we back. I'm on a vengeance. I'm on a vengeance tour. You heard me? It's a tie. Yeah. Facts. <laughs> it's a draw. <laughs> Hey, we appreciate everybody here at Five Star Dive Bar and Grill for having us here. We will catch you guys next time and uh, appreciate the support. All right, peace.